This just in. Aliens have landed on Mount Wayupthar. Oh my god. They are disguised as sugary junk foods and have been ordered by Blubberman, the leader, to take over the Earth. They have captured Mayor Gooden of Pineville, who has enough diabetes supplies to last 48 hours. Someone must save him and the world from these evil invaders. This sounds like a job for yours truly, Captain Noble. You need to check your blood sugar four times a day. But you can check it more often if you like. Hey, if you're having fun checking your blood sugar, do it more. You know, if you if you enjoy it, check it whenever you're feeling like it. In your breakfast meal plan, you could have... Okay, so here's what we can eat. We can have peanut butter toast, half a banana, bowl of cereal, glass of milk. For a morning snack, you could have apple and crackers. If I ate all of that, I would not be hungry for lunch. I just gotta tell you. I'm Captain Novelin. I'm handsome. I'm fit. Do you see these glasses he has? Wait, are they... They... I always saw them as, like, futuristic goggles. Is it literally just a bandana tied around his face? That sucks for him. There's way cooler ways to do that. Glucose is a sugar which gives the body energy. Good to know. Okay, so I got the milk. I got the banana. Hey, man, leave me alone. I don't want sugary cereal. That stuff's for squares. I can't have two bananas. It wasn't... It wasn't in my dietary regimen to have two bananas. Can I put one of them back? Glucose is slimy green stuff, which fuels the body. A fat, which fuels the body. A sugar, which fuels the body. If you think about it, everything inside of you is kind of slimy green stuff, right? I'm a doctor, by the way. Your blood glucose level is within the safe zone. Please don't send me back to the safe zone, not after yesterday. For lunch, you could have carrots, grapes, tuna sandwich, glass of milk, and for an afternoon snack, try pretzels and cheese. That's a lot of food again. Buddy, dial it back. Okay, I got the grape. No! Oh my god, he's so fast. That guy should not be allowed to be that fast. Okay, I got a carrot too. All right, if I see that one guy, that candy bar, I need to just jump instantly, because he is a problem. What a menace. Look at him. What causes diabetes? What type of diabetes is caused by not having enough insulin? Isn't not having enough insulin a symptom of all types of diabetes? Type 2 is caused by insulin resistance. Oh, okay. See, I didn't realize that. I learned so- see, I learned so much today. I mean, I knew the answer it wanted was type 1 diabetes. I'm not- I'm not dumb. When you take insulin, it's important to stick to your meal and exercise plans. Yum! Yum! In the tum-tum, enjoy your dinner, chicken leg, potato, green salad with dressing, cherries, and roll. So if we see a salad, we're gonna have to determine whether or not it has dressing. You know, he didn't say anything about it being against the rules to put the chicken on the roll and make like a little sandwich out of it. Nom nom nom. Who are you? I'm sorry. My doctor tells me not to hang out with hippies. I apologize. Could I give you a bit of advice? I don't listen to hippies. I'm sorry. You should wear sturdy shoes and socks to protect your feet throughout your adventure. Here, take these. I think they will fit just fine. Is that a diabetes thing? Is that? Well, I mean, I know that like, you can have problems with your feet if your diabetes go unchecked, but like, Wearing good socks? They have diabetes socks? Holy shit. We've got a turbo tunnel situation on our hands? Okay, does that salad have dressing or not? I'm sorry, hold on. I have to know, that salad right there, does that have dressing or not? Simple question. Just answer the question. Then that is not part of my dietary plan. I'm sorry. Is that- does that mean we need to reset? Oh, it's a vinaigrette. Okay. But I could- I could probably afford it. <gasps> Captain Novelin died. Can I- you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. I'm having a second salad tonight. I earned it. Before bed tonight, have a... Wait, before bed I'm supposed to have a turkey sandwich and a glass of milk? How much food am I eating in a given day? Hypoglycemia is low blood sugar. That's not a tip, that's just... that's just a definition. Look, I eat that much food before bed, but I'm pretty sure my doctor would ask me not to. Before bed, make sure you have at least three turkey sandwiches and a half gallon of milk. If your blood sugar levels are kept in your target range, you stay healthier. I love that for me. Uh, where's my turkey sandwich? Thank you! Oh my god, screw you, guy. Uh... They set that up that way, specifically so that I would be punished for trying not to have two turkey sandwiches in one night. Can you believe that? The game punished me 
for th for saying no thank you. One turkey sandwich is plenty. What are you supposed to do about these bouncing cookies? This is hell. I live in hell. Going to the bathroom all the time is a symptom of diabetes. Do you ever go pee and then like you drink a soda and then you go pee again? Diabetic. For lunch, you could have carrots, grapes, tuna sandwich, glass of milk, or you could have just one. You could have five or six of those things. Or just one. No thanks, that's plenty of milk for me today. That's all the mood juice I'm allowed. I don't need to check my blood sugar because I know that it's dog shit right now. Why do we need to check blood sugar levels? Writing all those numbers is fun and looks cool. They keep in our target range, we stay healthier. Our parents and doctors will bug us if we don't. That's the answer. It's bug us. Mm, yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. Can I come over to your house for dinner? I heard your mom was making chicken leg and potato, my favorite. Before bed tonight, have a turkey sandwich, glass of milk, another turkey sandwich, some cookies, more cookies, and another turkey sandwich. Oh, you can jump on enemies to kill them? What? Captain Novelin, you cheeky bass. I bet, I bet the manual would have told me that. Before bed, have many turkey sandwiches. A platter of turkey sandwiches, but the little finger-sized ones? Like, don't make full-size sandwiches. Make the little tea sandwiches, you know? But make it with, make it with turkey. Treat yourself. Captain Novelin, hello ranger. I have diabetes. Sorry. Does anybody talk like that? Do you ever introduce yourself like, Hi, I'm Jimothy. I have diabetes. Like, is that just like... Okay, Wilford Brimley notwithstanding. Anyone else? Does anyone else introduce themselves that way? You know what? One apple's not gonna hurt me. But I don't need crackers. I definitely don't need a second apple. What are you trying to do to me out here? Why is it good to eat throughout the day? So you can eat all the time. Okay, that is the right answer, though. So you do not get full. So your body gets an even supply of food. So you can try bunches of different foods. <laughs> Be adventurous. When you're on the playground, try the sand. It's very different from the sand you have back home. Before bed tonight, have a turkey sandwich and a glass of turkey sandwich. Oh, that's fucked up, man. You can't get away with that. That's fucked up. You can't just design a level however you want to. There are rules. It's past my bedtime. Mom says I haven't had enough turkey sandwiches. Do not inject insulin into your knee. Don't inject anything into your knee. And Well, no, there are some things you inject into your knee. Never mind. Just the thought of injecting something into my knee makes me squeamish. Please let me go to sleep. I can't have any more turkey sandwiches. I told my mom I'm tired, but she says I have to eat more turkey sandwiches. Yeah, get murdered, guy I'm not sure I was supposed to murder. You check Mayor Gooden's blood sugar and find that it's 30? What do you do? Give the mayor sugar packets, then cheese and crackers. Give the mayor a glu glucagon shot, then cheese and crackers when he wakes up. Smart thinking, the mayor needed glucagon badly for his severe hypoglycemia. After he eats his cheese and crackers, he will feel much better. I'll be real with you, I eat a lot more turkey sandwiches than that at my as my nighttime snack. That is not a representative sample of the number of turkey sandwiches I had. <laughs> Congratulations, Captain. You saved the world from those evil aliens. You have diabetes. I hereby present to you the key to the city. Rex Ronan. Experimental Surgeon! Jake Westboro thought he had it all. A successful sales career with a Blackburn Tobacco Company. A beautiful wife. A great car. And then one day he woke up. This is not my beautiful wife. This is not my beautiful car. Jake started smoking when he was 15, but now he's dying from smoking the cigarettes that he sold. Jake's only hope is Dr. Rex Ronan, a brilliant experimental surgeon. Dr. Ronan will shrink himself to near microscopic size and enter Jake's body to fight Jake's diseases. Blackburn Tobacco Company is afraid that if Jake lives, he will tell the world how dangerous smoking is. They will do anything to stop Dr. Ronan. Time is running out. Dr. Ronan must hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. This is incredible. Your food will taste better if you smoke. False. Statements cause damage. Okay, I've learned a lot. Oh no, did my gun get worse? I liked it better when my gun was better. Don't worry, Rex Ronan's on the job. Doing what a normal dentist could do. But instead, I've had to Mrs. Frizzle myself in order to do this task for you. That'll be $30,000. Smoking makes your breath smell great. Hell no. 
That is a dangerous thing to stand near. That's gonna hurt me. I've learned that lesson. I'm sorry, I won't be touching that. Last time I touched a false statement, it hurt me. Well, you're gonna give me a- you- you're- My brother, you're the one that gave me the garbage gun. Can you, like, give me back a good gun? True statements destroys enemies. Hope you're not wanting to make small, subtle movements, because this game doesn't have those. Finally, thank you. I- I missed my spread cannon. I don't know what I picked up that gave me the bad gun. I hope I never get it again. Oh my god, we found the Leucoplakia. Like car exhaust, cigarette smoke has carbon monoxide in it. That is so true. What happened to killing all the enemies? Remember when you said that touching a true statement would kill all the enemies? Do you remember when you said that game? I have a few small criticisms right now. I'm here to kick ass and remove precancerous cells. And I'm all out of ass. This mechanic is actually fine when you have the spray gun. When you're doing it with this, very bad. It feels very bad. The time that you spend doing it is a time spent in unhappiness. Hey, stop shooting me, dipshit. I don't like getting shot. Oh, that tar buildup. Come on, baby. You gotta keep this place clean. <laughs> She's a tin, but she has micro machines inside of her lungs. This is your problem right here. You had another infestation of those precancer cells. We hate those around here. Now, I know a guy who can get them cleaned up for you, but it's gonna cost you, all right? He's a specialist. It's like not obvious to me exactly how much cleanup I actually have to do. Because the thing that ends every level, at least every level I've played so far, has been finding the specific nanobots at the very end, the special ones that are super strong and super a pain in the dick to fight, then why does it even have this like cleanup mechanism? Is it just to find power-ups and to, I don't know, motivate the game's existence? Heart complete. Entering the brain. Say I won't. Say I won't do it. I'll fix the fuck out of that nicotine addiction. Don't worry about the blood-brain barrier. Let me worry about the blood-brain barrier. And by that I mean I've destroyed the blood-brain barrier. Is that bad? I don't know. I'm an experimental surgeon, not a medical one. Love how I earn points for destroying the leukoplasts, despite the fact that, like, that's probably a bad thing to do. Like, if you were, let's say, perchance, you were an experimental surgeon who shrunk yourself down to go inside of the human body to heal it, I feel like destroying the white blood cells is just bad form. Like, I mean, that's that's science fiction malpractice, for sure. You're gonna have a real science fiction lawsuit on your hands for that. This is the nicotine addiction. This thing right here, that's the nicotine addiction. So clean that up. Oh, I was supposed to be curing the camps. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Can I start over? I did a goof. Please don't ask me what mistake I made. Just, I made an error and I'd like to fix it. Did you know this is how a nicotine addiction works? Is it's just like, uh, it's just like gunk all over your neurons? And you can just clean it off with a laser gun? This is better than Power Wash Sim. How many robots do you get to shoot in Power Wash Sim out of curiosity? <sighs> That's it. Jake will never be able to expose us now. The secrets of smoking and chewing tobacco are once again safe with us. No one will ever know the true dangers of smoking. So, any thoughts on our new spokesman? I was so close to. Let's see. That seems like that was the end of it. That's my guess. That's true, Zerk. You're right. I did win.